this is Chicho. Uh, welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do right now is um, show you a package uh, that had just arrived. It's a comic book buy that I did, uh, my first comic book buy in this new space that we're in. And it was um, sort of a Briex a buy, a Bri uh, UK exit of the um, from the EU buy. Uh, because as soon as uh, Brie exit uh, uh, happened, as soon as the vote, uh, if you've been following politics and stuff, as soon as the vote happened where uh, the UK 52% uh, or something decided to leave the European Union, um, however form that's going to take, what happened was the British pound dropped in value. And I, you know, out of luck, I had been tracking uh, this uh, item that was listed on eBay and as soon as the British pound dropped and it dropped dropped about 10% within two days so that basically meant there's a 10% discount <laughs> on this purchase so I contacted the guy and um, asked him uh, how much uh, uh, combined shipping would be because there should be five comics here uh, so you know i asked them how much uh, combined shipping would be from the uk to come to here and it was fairly expensive the combined shipping was going to be uh, it ended up being uh, 20 pounds right uh, but because the items were listed the comics were listed basically half the price of the cheapest ones i could find on ebay um, listed in canada or the us and you know if you do the conversion it was actually less than less than half uh, like it was way cheaper than anything else I could buy I decided to buy these comics from this guy okay now this is the package it's really there should be five comics here but it's squished in pretty tight uh, so I'm hoping it's not squished too tightly and as you can see there's like oil sort of staining on the on the package and uh, there was a little bit of complication with this package uh, because you know I asked the guy to send me um, the tracking information and he posted the tracking information but the tracking information wasn't really working and then he contacted the post office and the post office well what he told me was the post office sent it to the wrong place and then they got it back and then he had to resend it or they had to resend it so this package is coming to me a week plus late um it sounded like a song and dance um but uh, you know everything does happen uh, so i'm a little nervous opening this uh, this baby up um and i'll show you what the comics are okay so let's crack this open and it's got you know it's a nice nice package other than the staining and i don't know where this thing's been right they sent it to the wrong place so Phew. all i had to do was just tear the thing i didn't even need the exacto knife so let's open this guy up and uh, let me tell you what this was uh, as I said, the shipping was 20 pounds, okay? And each one of these comics, there's five of them here, they cost me eight pounds each, okay? And let's bring this up. Legends of the Geomancer, number one, right? And we've done a reading for this, right? Actually, we did the reading for all the full set of this because this is the Valiant comic that uh, 
Valiant, you know, stated that they're not going to reprint and it was exclusive and one out of 25 and people were chasing this baby. And I ended up getting, um, I already have this, we already did the reading for this, right? Number one to four. And I rarely do readings for all, all the books um, for a story arc because, you know, it's, it's mainly my readings are sort of teasers and samples. But since this one, Valiant says they're not going to reprint and it was an important comic, the story, the information being presented. Um, so I did the reading for the whole thing. Should we look at the rest? And they look like they're in great condition. Um, they were listed as near mint um, and bagged and boarded, uh, set in cardboard, and only one of them is not uh, bagged and boarded. So let's take a look at all, uh, you know, all five comics. So the first one, oh, this one's definitely not near mint. Um, well, as you can tell, uh, the first one is Legend of the Geomancer number one, and the other four are Legend of the Geomancer number one. And so I bought five copies of Legends of the Geomancer number one. Um, yeah, this one's in really good condition as well. The beautiful copies, except for this one. This one is not uh, in a bag and board. Um, it's got a little bit of a... see it's got a little bit of a nick there like a little line so let me crack this one open i'm guessing this is the one maybe he read or took a look at got a crazy tape on here Good, good rating on it. It was low, you know, he was into the hundreds. He wasn't into the thousands, his ranking. And it was all 100%. So it looks like, you know, he was legit. The stuff went to the wrong place. Uh, this one's not near mint, though. This one, <laughs> this is, it is near mint. This is because I guess it's got the thing in there, though. So this would be, you know, a nine. Uh, instead of a 9.4 or 9.2 but these other ones look fantastic let's crack open one of the ones that comes out uh, with the board right there's the other four <laughs> nice i had to do it so basically this came out to each one was uh, the total for this uh it came out to um uh, in us it came out to about 80 dollars us uh, so 80 divided by 5 is uh, uh, 15, right? So it came out to about $15 US each, including shipping. So $80 US, including shipping. It came out to 60 pounds total. So uh, $15 each for Legends of the Geomancer number one, which is pretty good. Um, these things peaked in price right off the bat when they first came out. Uh, they were going for 40 or 50 bucks and then they came down uh, to around, uh, you know, I was able to get a couple of them for um, before this. Uh, I ended up getting for around 20, 18 dollars. They really came down really, f you know, not fast, but they came down and boom, they've done a bounce back up again in price. And right now, the cheapest you can get it for is around 35 bucks on eBay. So this was, uh, you know, goodbye, very goodbye. And this is beautiful condition. Look at this guy. Sharp edges. Nice buck. We 
in morning, morning, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's a cloudy day today. It's actually a beautiful day, day to just sit back and read comic books. Hopefully it rains. If it does that, I'm definitely grabbing a trade paperback and reading it. I actually picked up uh, the monstrous trade paperback. It came out uh, last week, last Wednesday. And I've read all the monstrous, as you know. I'm picking up monstrous from Image Comics. And I've read the whole story arc, but it, you know, it came out and it collects the first five issues and it came out in over a five month period. So I might sit down and read all of monstrous again, the trade paperback. Uh, this is a beautiful copy. Definitely uh, my great desire the near mint. This is a mint copy. Beautiful copy and the rest look to be the same. Um, but just because uh, there's a little bit of complication with this, I am going to open all, all, you know, well, I've opened two, but I'm going to, I'm going to go through all of them, uh, page by page, make sure they're all legit. And then I can go back and leave a comment for the guy. And I'm going to let him know about, uh, this fifth one, uh, that was, uh, not in a board, uh, with the ding. Maybe he'll do a partial refund, which would be even better. Um, but I'm not going to leave, even if he doesn't, I'm not going to leave him a bad comment because uh, I'm happy to have these for 15 bucks a pop. Uh, nice. And this one. Nice. <laughs> I thought I'd share that with you. Um, so this is officially my first... Um, uh, eBay buy. Uh, I've been buying from a comic book store here, so it's not my first comic book buy at this lo new location, but it's first package comic book package that's come to me at this first location. And it's five copies of the Legends of the Jewels, or number one. Uh, fantastic. Uh, and if Valiant sticks by their word, uh, this is going to be a you know sought after book because it is important. It gives you the. Uh, you know, you can read the whole story from one to four in the videos, but it's basically the origin of Anipada, the name Anipada, which is Gilad, Armstrong, and Ivar, right? Uh, the Anipada clan, which is sort of the merger between um, Annie, which was the first geomancer, and Pada, which was sort of um, started off being her. This is spoilers, by the way, so if you haven't read these, you don't want to hear this, but. Uh, Pada was basically her protector to a certain degree, sort of a warrior that uh, helped her out uh, so she wouldn't get uh, sacrificed. And uh, we find out that they have a falling out and uh, uh, Annie becomes, um, the earth makes her the first geomancer and turns Gilad into uh, the fist and the steel, I believe. I always mess that up, but anyway, the, the protector of the geomancer and Pada ends up becoming from everyone's conjecture everyone's assuming Pada is the one that becomes the immortal enemy that's always seeking out the the geomancers to kill them and that's what we found out in the uh, book of death um well not the book of death in uh, the valiant uh, from one to four when the valiant came out and these guys came out after the valiant right so in the Valiant miniseries, um, there was four issues. We found out there's something called, uh, um, I believe it's the immortal enemy that throughout history has always uh, tried to find the geomancers and kill them. And Gilad has always failed and he ends up getting all the Valiant superheroes together to fight the immortal, uh, eternal enemy or immortal enemy and, you know, they can't beat him and he ends up killing um k um k or k um bad with names so uh ends up killing uh the geomancer the bloodshot had been had fallen in love with or them you know that fondness of each other so after a year after that we found out that pada is actually most likely the immortal enemy um, a pretty cool story arc is an am amazing universe that they're creating. Okay, um, just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, very happy to get these. Very, very happy to get these. Uh, definitely, these guys are gonna go in the box, and I'm gonna 
um, you know, flip through them, make sure they're all good. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I'll uh, let you know what else I ended up end up getting. Any packages that I end up getting, um, I'm not going to be buying anything for for a while uh, because we're in the summer and I need to get into doing some mathematics and stuff like this. And um, I'm sort of strapped out with uh, with this buy and doing the move and stuff like this. So my uh, funds for buying comic books uh, has just been reduced to my pull list and every random comic off the shelf when I see them. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.